search for science communicators, uh, uh, a person who is adept at all the skills of, of, uh, that scientists use, but they can also communicate to the general public what science and technology oh, is doing. We, we chose NASA. We were excited about helping celebrate the 50th anniversary of that fine organization. Well, there's two aspects. There's the critical thinking part of to try to use the scientific method to come up with a solution. And then, um, more importantly, there's communicating that solution, both uh, to each other and then to uh, the flight director and then up to the crew in written and drawn procedures. We have the privilege of passing on information that we've been through to help out students. And that's why we do it. So the student's challenge is to try and determine what the um, what it would be like for the astronaut to be 1-6 gravity. And they have to figure out the math, dealing with the weight, the counterbalance system, the pulley system. But we got to bring in about the science that's happening and why we're returning to the moon with NASA and why it's important that we train individuals on simulation of 1-6 gravity. It's really interesting for me. I've never been anywhere anywhere at all like this. This is the first time I've been at a place where they build satellites and design satellites. It seems so like unreal, um, surreal to be able to see all this and like the chief scientist was working with us on the Martian one. We got to uh, simulate repair, repairing a panel on the Hubble telescope and that was really cool because astronauts have done that before and they're going to continue doing it so it was really hands-on in real life so I thought that was a lot of fun. Uh, if we don't plant these seeds now, uh, when they're younger, uh, they may not realize how exciting and fun a job in uh, science and technology is. These children are, for their age, are experts at practicing the skills that all scientists use, no matter the discipline. So I'm going to use my head, as in literally, I'm going to take a flat surface and see Innovation Prize.